Disaster Reconstruction Authority was established to restore Bahamian communities devastated by natural disasters. It's an agency whose existence came about in the aftermath of the devastating 2019 Hurricane Dorian. In its short lifetime, though, it has been plagued with challenges and mounting questions about its efficiency and accomplishment. The DRA has pushed the reset button, but as Corval Pyfram reports, questions linger. A plea this morning in the House of Assembly from East Grand Bahama MP Kwesi Thompson. And so, Mr. Deputy, we will not be satisfied until relief is brought to the people of the Bahamas. East Grand Bahama, one of those areas hardest hit during Hurricane Dorian, and four years later, it is still among the communities reeling from this devastation. The Disaster Reconstruction Authority created in the aftermath of Dorian was supposed to alleviate some of the burden for residents impacted. Sadly, the help has been challenged. We have totally aligned the structure of how the DRA operates and put processes in place. We found that there were a lot of things missing, um, simple in, in improving purchase orders and other things. Even the purchase order system was flawed. DRA Executive Chairman Alex Storr says work is happening on Abaco and parts of eastern Grand Bahama. New homes have been built, many repaired, and residents are being provided assistance. He admits, though, the process has been slow. We have now ramped up our home repair programs on both Grand Bahama and Abaco and providing relief for those that have been crying out. Of course, the DRA would like to assist all those homeowners needing to repair or rebuild their homes, Mr. Storr says. But quite frankly, that's just not feasible. Demand is high, resources are strained, and so the process has to be evaluated on a case-by-case -case need basis. The main issue is funding. As you know, we are just one of many government agencies that have to compete for government funds. So the funds that we use, we try to help as many people as we can as quickly as possible. But of course, we can't help everyone all at once. There are matters involving the managing of the hurricane shelters during the 2019 storm and missing items. Money's not accounted for that remain under active investigation. Though not saying much on these probes, Store provided this update. I've said before, the police are actively investigating. We have met with the police again just this week. As a matter of fact, they requested additional information. We've handed that over to them. We have moved to rectify all the issues that we found in place with the hurricane shelter. Um, those files are also in the hands of the police, and they'll determine whether um, it needs to be looked at closer or if there needs to be charges brought. But we've turned over all information to the police. Chairman Storr expects to be announcing a public-private partnership that he says will lead to more rental home assistance for impacted residents on Grand Bahama and Abaco in short order. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Corvell Pyfram. Hi, I'm Cleopatra Murphy. Thank you for watching our ZNS YouTube channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to stay in the know with all things ZNS.